welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you're new to this channel, I'm Sandra. Uh, today we're gonna be doing one of my favorite, favorite things to do. We are going to sniff fragrance oils. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because my package came for my fall fragrances. And boy, have I learned a lot. So I'm gonna tell you what I learned about creating fragrances uh, for fall or for holidays for that matter. Um, my fragrances, you guys are gonna get first hand knowledge of the fragrances that I chose for this fall's line. I'm super excited um, and I have not sniffed these yet. So I am using Sierra Candles. Uh, it's, okay, let me just be very correct. Uh, Sierra Candle and Soap Making Supply. That is who I've discovered this year, I think it was, this year. And I've completely fallen in love with them. I absolutely love their fragrance oils. They're so, I wanna say potent, but like in such a good way. They're highly fragranted. Um, they have an incredible hot throw, an incredible cold throw. I love them in my soaps. I use them for so many different things and I'm just overall really, really happy with their product. So last year I used Fla the Flaming Candle, which I love, um, Aztec Candle Supply, who I also love, and Candle Science. Those are the three that I used last year. And so um, I'm super excited to go with Sierra this year for my fall line. Um, and I can't wait to smell them. Let's see, I think, so I've got, so I have six fragrances and I'm gonna probably wing one of these out of here or maybe just make it into a wax melt. Um, last year during the holiday season, being completely brand new to this whole thing, um, I did, I wanna say I did about 10 different fragrances because everybody was like, oh, you should have pumpkin pie, but wait, you should also have pumpkin spice. Oh wait, you should have this gingerbread. You should have, and so I did it. I did it all. And yes, I eventually sold out of all but three candles. Um, but let me tell you something. It was more work than it should have been. Um, people would have been just fine with like a pumpkin fragrance. Um, and if somebody was like dead set on like, no, it can't be pumpkin pie, it has to be pumpkin spice, then I still have fragrance oils from last year that someone could pre-order, or I mean, yeah, pre-order and pay for, and then I would have absolutely no problem making that candle, coloring that candle, creating a label for that candle, and all that other jazz. But just know, you do not need to have 10 candles because the more options you give, the more options people want to tell you that you should need. Um, keep it short and simple. Give it a kiss. Keep it short and simple. Um, so this year I have learned we are only doing five um, and that's that unless you are pre-ordering. And so here is what we got. So I got to narrow one down. I do make a bunch of wax melts that I do not turn into candles um, because they're just super popular for wax melts and they didn't really sell as a candle, which is totally fine with me because a product is a product. But today we have Autumn Lodge right here. This is a, a new one that I've never tried before. And let me go get my little thing that pulls, pulls it out and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk fragrance. I'm back <laughs> and I've got these cute little test strips. I got these on Amazon. I absolutely love these little strips right here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and try, like I said, Autumn Lodge. Do not use a screwdriver, right? I can't really wink all that well, but this is how I open it because I love the fact that they put a safety thing in here because I have had um, fragrance oils shipped to me and then exploded a little bit and then the whole bag was like saturated with um the fragrance oil Ooh, oh i love this okay so autumn lodge mm, is a musky smell 
it's almost like a cologne like I smell like sandalwood a hint of citrus um, it's really light though it's almost like it almost smells like my grandpa you know just a hint of cologne you know the muskiness um, Ooh, I like this like it makes me think of like flannels and you know just like the coziness so that is what autumn lodges like cedar it's got a little bit of a wood smell um, but like that citrus but oh so soft it's not pungent at all I really like this so this is autumn lodge it is soap safe so you can use this in like bath bombs and obviously soaps and oh I got flannel I totally forgot what I ordered. So I have flannel, which is a BBW type, a Bath and Body Works type right there. Ooh, this is more citrusy, more like lemony, more, it's a, like musky, like cologne type, but this is more of like a, a woodsy kind of a smell. And this is more of like a lighter citrusy kind of a smell but still on the same spectrum um, when it comes to cologne. And I'm a cologne freak. I love cologne. It's very light and a little bit floral, but ah, <laughs> too close. But um, definitely citrusy, very light musky, um, but yeah, definitely cologne type. I like that. Now that's going to be hard to choose. I'm going to have to choose one of these two. I cannot have two cologne type candles for this season. I don't want to have anything that compares with something else. I want each fragrance to be completely different than the next. So one of those is going to be wax melt only. I have to think of what you would want in a wax melt. Oh my God, I could eat this. <laughs> this is, I love this. So, oh my God, this is delicious. Apple butter caramel or caramel, however you pronounce it. Um, oh, and just to let you know, the flannel is soap safe as well. This one, again, apple butter caramel is soap safe. Oh my God, this is incredible. Ugh. Ugh. It smells like butterscotch. That's what, that's like the first, and I, oh my God, I have butterscotch. Look at this. Okay, you definitely smell the butter, the apple, this caramel. It's so sweet. It's delicious, but it's got that tartness from the apple. I love this. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I'm going to make a room spray with this. <laughs> like, oh, this is like, I love fall fragrances because I really love like that baking kind of sweet smell grandma's house kind of deliciousness um so good that made my mouth water <laughs> it's, it's soap safe um and so you can do bath bombs i don't know anybody who would want to smell like that but you never know um i might be soaking in that <laughs> come the holiday season okay Man, I did get some stuff that are very similar. Um, just so you know, when you order from Sierra Candles, sometimes they will have the fragrance notes listed. So you'll just have to check. That's okay. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with everything that I got. Okay, so apple butter caramel and butterscotch are very similar, except that this has the tartness of an apple. Um, um, it's very buttery, very sweet, very true to the scent of butterscotch. 1000%. Hmm. I now probably will have to choose not only between the two flannels, but these two, because again, I don't want two fragrances that are similar. I want each one to be completely different. So I did get a harvest spice and let's see. This is not soap safe, okay? Please read every single um, label to make sure. This is not soap safe. So this is Harvest Spice. 
and it's true to its name. It's very cinnamony, very spicy. Um, it's not like your typical apple cinnamon or vanilla cinnamon because I really don't smell too much cinnamon. It's all of like cloves, like the really nice spice fragrances that you get during the holiday season. So yeah, very, very um, strong, I guess you can say, but like in a good way, like I like spice, but there's no subtle to it. Like there, I don't smell any like vanilla or any kind of like, um, like that baking spice is just spice, but it could be easily blended with, if you wanted to blend this with vanilla, I blend a lot of fragrance oils and I create my own scents. Um, that's why I love to have these. Here's a fragrance right here. It's a blend of two that I have not made into a candle yet, but someday it will. And I absolutely love that. Um, we'll talk about that in another video for uh, candle making. All right, and last, but definitely not least, we are hitting up blueberry pumpkin pancakes. Okay, this is soap safe. All right, let's see. Mm. Oh my gosh, okay. You could almost drink this. This is such a soft fragrance. And when I say soft, I mean, you smell this like warm blueberries, like it smells like pancakes, like, you know, right off the griddle kind of pancakes with that soft, warm blueberry inside. Oh, this smells like how you want your kitchen to permanently smell the entire holiday season. Like you want it to smell like warm, sweet, baked yummy goodness and this has like a sugar fragrance to it it has a vanilla it has a blueberry oh and really soft I love it absolutely love it so I think for sure we are gonna go with blueberry pancake we are gonna do a harvest spice I do have to choose between I think we're going to do apple um, butter caramel. We're going to skip on the butterscotch. We're going to save that since that's kind of like a universal one. You could do butterscotch any time of the year. And then I don't know between these two. One of these is going to be a wax melt, either flannel or autumn lodge. And I think, 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 think I'm going to do one more fragrance. And it's just going to be, I think we're just going to go straight pumpkin pie because a lot of people like that for, um, for the holidays. They don't want like anything else mixed with pumpkin. They just like want a straight shooter. Give me the pumpkin pie. Um, and then of course, always cinnamon and vanilla. That's, that's a staple I sell all year long. So these are the winners for the Sierra fragrance, the fall fragrance. Um, they're super amazing. I absolutely love them not this. This is my favorite drink in the whole wide world. Um, but yes, the Sierra Fragrance um, Candle and Soap Company is incredible. I highly recommend for you to check them out if you have not already. Um, they do uh, free shipping if you buy over a hundred bucks, which is incredible because shipping can be so much. Um, these fragrance oils all run about 20... 20 to 25 dollars um they do have higher ends which cost into the 30s and i have used them before and absolutely love them um boyfriend is one of the my it's my candle called boyfriend it's actually the cool water fragrance from sierra candles i am only so i'm letting it sell out because i it's it's an expensive candle and it may come back for a limited time only so anyways check out Sierra Candles and see their fall collection. With everybody doing candles right now, I'm telling you, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. I know some people are like, um, I'm not ready to do fall candles. Get these fragrance oils. If anything has taught me, if candle making has taught me anything, 
<laughs> just like going to the Dollar Tree. You got to buy it when you see it because by the time it comes around that holiday season, it's going to be completely sold out. So don't wait. Um, if you found this video informative, squirrel, let's change the subject real fast. Um, please give it a thumbs up so I can continue doing candle videos for you. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and my channel and that you've hit that notification bell because that lets you know when I upload a tutorial. You don't want to miss any because um, I'm doing a little bit of everything. We've got Christmas in July happening as well. Um, and uh, join me live uh, coming up next Wednesday. We're going to talk about the membership program. It's going to be revamped. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to share all of the perks with you. Um, but yes, uh, again, get your false sense. Check out Sierra. There's a bunch of other great companies like the Flaming Candle, Aztec Candle Supply, uh, Candle Science that I absolutely love. But as you can see, Sierra is like my number one. So anyways, um, I will see you guys again in my next tutorial. Have a fabulous week.